Check, check. Yo, we're back in the building. But they are. Elephant, Yo, no, uh, elephant in the room podcast. You know the thing? You're a good actor now. Why? Because before you're stressing, you're sweating, you, 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 you're, you're pulsating, you're going through menopause, and as soon as we said action, you just went into character. Yeah, well, that's how it goes, man. Good. Welcome to show business. Inside, I'm like, you know, like they say, you know when you see a swan and they just smooth on the water, but underneath the water, the legs is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's how my heart is doing that right now. One. We have to do the map for. <laughs> Fucking <idiot. laughs> Welcome to Elephant in the Room podcast. Your boy C Sig of the Elephant. Back. Thank you, and thank you to all the patrons, or the new ones, or the old ones, yeah, or the ones that's thinking about it, but their credit score is not helping the situation. Big up to you, same way. No, you know what? I rate any patron, and I understand if the three pound is too much, right? No, now. I, I do because it might only be three pound. Yeah. But you see, when it, when you're when you're going through it, three pound is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. So three pound is so. We rate everyone. You and know if what I mean? You can't afford three pound for the podcast. Um, <laughs> you're, too, you're too rank. If you can't afford it, it's all good, man. It's all good. Big up all of those that are buying. You can't afford three pound. You need to look at your life. <laughs> Bob, there's, there's times when you couldn't afford three pound. There's well, for a podcast. No, for three pound. In total, in just in general, three part. There's there's a time. Never that. A hundred percent. You know why never? Cause I got a chest jar. You got I'm old school. You, know, you got a stress jar. That's chest jar. Now people don't have them things. What there. is it? You know them them bottles where you put money in them. Oh, you got. No, I still you, got. Let's say you, with the two p's and one p's. I don't have no two p's. The silver and pound coins. Okay. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So if if I if the shit is the fan, I'm. So what happens when the shit is the fan and you and you and then you see next week after you chuku chuku you're still shit. No, then I'm going on the road. Yeah, I hear you. But there's some people that ain't, got, they ain't cut out for the road. They go out there with £10, come back with, and they owe someone money. <laughs> <laughs> now they're in debt on the road as well. Now, Went out to make money, now they're in yeah, debt. Yeah, they're in debt and beef and all sorts. So. And you know who makes money? Them little street beggars. They make money. Don't ever write them off. Yeah, you know? we were, well, I ain't give it. That's why I don't give them nothing. No, I ain't giving them nothing. To be honest, right now, I'm not in, I'm not into this giving no, nobody nothing. I don't give nothing. There's no... You see this charity thing? There's no giving. Oh, because if you remember from the last podcast, people, you got bumped. <laughs> when? when you said... Oh, oh with, the, with the electric key. Yeah, I'll never forget that, bro. I I'll never forget that. Man bumped me. And, and tried to use the same scam. Yeah, listen, I would raise money for charity, but I don't give money. I don't give no money to... Right, that, bro, right now, listen, charity begins at home and... Yeah. Saying that the school gave me fifteen pound this week. <laughs> oh, but like to use in a like a coupon. Yeah, in Tesco's. Yeah, yeah, use it, man. You should use I've it. Used Audi, it. it was stretch. Big up all of those that have bought tickets for the show, the Birmingham show, taking place on the sixth of April, the London show taking place on the seventh of April. All right, so make sure you grab your tickets. www.c6.com forward slash events. That's C double E S I X. Grab your tickets so they can buy tickets off your site. Yes, you know you you you, you thought about that because you could, you know you're gonna sound like a pussy. Why is my site? We don't have a site. There's shops. There's ticket sellers. But there's why there's skiddle. That? Why we got? A, why listen again? The middleman. Why are we paying the middleman? But you haven't told me this. That but why all the money's going the to you. Man? It's not with the money. This out. It, the money goes into the podcast. It's no, our but it's, money. It's the C six podcast. How? Because it doesn't say C six and Dizzles dot com. What happens here? It doesn't say C six and Dizzles dot com. When people go to shops dot com and enough respect to shops and enough respect to skiddle. That booking fee goes to them. Well, I've cut out that middleman. So I don't charge the booking fee to the customer. I just take it off. So where you buy a ticket from us, for a tenner, for example, yeah. if you buy it on there, it's £11.50. Yeah. £10 for the ticket, £1.50 for, for them. Yeah. We do all the hard work, all the groundwork, we do everything, and then we just give them £1.50 per sale. That's mad. And we give that extra... To our consumer. So no, our people will save one pound fifty and come direct to us. So how you never told me to set up that? Uh, you have a website? No. Well, that's your business. Get a website and we'll <laughs> and I'll help you out. <laughs> See, because you're so crooked and you want to know about this thing. That's what there you want to no done. Cro- there's nothing crooked. Yeah, it is because you wanted to get all the money for yourself. So no, how do I get all the money for yourself? All right, create a website. No, do it's this. not about it's, this. Is Why you never told me that? This is literally how do I save my consumer money? You sound like a real panani by even trying to sound good. No, nah, because you know, Do you know what I mean? These are the people that support us, yeah? They support so, so, us. They're they they trying su- to make me sound bad now. You, I see what you, you're doing. You, you, I see you, what you're doing. Why? Okay, listen. I see what you're doing, listen, C6. Our patrons, big up our patrons and our supporters that are tuning every single week. 
they want to come and see us at the live show. If we're going to sell a ticket for 11, £10, why do you want them to pay £11.50? Because it's called booking fee. But we don't need that. I've cut the booking fee out. So how are they going to book if there's no fee? It's <laughs> Booking fee is the booking fee is like is the middleman's cost for doing nothing. You know, like when you say when I say, "Hey, Dizzle, you got any weed?" and you say, "Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna call my brethren," and you call your brethren, and now I've got to pay you money because you called your brethren. That middleman. Yeah. Once I meet your brethren, and now I become a customer to your brethren, we cut you out. My weed cost goes down. But that's supposed to your thing, though. Why you don't? Why need you to? cut out the man for? You was, bring, well, you, you was bringing it to the man, and now you cut him well, out forever. Yeah, that's the way it goes. A man's supposed to get his drink in it. Forever. So, so no, you, no, you like, you, so, 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 so you bringing me somewhere, you getting me, um, um, rumba clot, yeah? Mm. And you getting it for 15 pound, mm. yeah? Mm. So now I met rumba clot, now I'm getting it for 10. I didn't check you again. Yeah. Would you be happy about that? If I, would you me? be happy about that? Yes. Yes. Because my initial fee, I, I tell you something, there's no way. So now you're not I getting no money. Listen, you're no, happy with that. Let me explain, you're sounding let, weird, let bro. Let me explain something to you. I don't want money from my friends. And if I can get my friends a hookup that they can start getting stuff cheaper or they, they get a direct link to the plug, do your thing. Then why you never sell them to, for them for £10? Why do you sell them for 15 then? Who? I, the, the initial who was getting for selling them for 15 That's what I'm trying to say. Because an, initially... You was getting it for 10 and you were selling it for 15 The rumba clots, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. Because you were making your drink. I was making a drink. When my people... You see, if I don't want you to know the plug, you will never know the plug. But it's a no, 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 no. If I want, if I don't want you to know the plug, you will never know the plug. If I want to monopolize the fifteen pound rumble class, you will never, <laughs> ever in your life find out where to get them for cheaper. Because I will stop that. That is that is crude business. If I, if you're my brother and, and I don't mind you knowing, then you can know. Trust me, I'm not greedy like that. But if I want to monopolize something, it's, you can't get around me. You understand? So. I don't want Chubbs and Skiddle and all of these to get money off of my people and my ravers. So, oh yeah, check out the journey also. But I don't want it. I don't want them to get money off of my ravers and my supporters. But you said that. See, you, you, see, to the naked eye, that was just one over people's head. Yeah, but it never went over my head. Yeah, it never went over my head. What? Yeah, I don't want to make no money off my people. Them, but hey, make sure you get your tickets for the journey. I'm providing a service. I'm not overcharging no one anything. I'm but you say you don't know money from them, but make sure you get your tickets for my show. Okay, so what you meant to do? I, they're paying for the show. They're getting the service that they pay for, for the cost that it pays for. They get a good value for money. What I don't want to do is overcharge them. What's wrong with you? You didn't say that. Do you need to get paid? Yeah. Okay, so what? You think I'm, where do you think this, you think I'm going to have an everlasting pot of money? It doesn't work like that. But I don't overcharge my people. Listen. Say somebody wants to book me for a wedding, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't chuck wedding fee on. I do. I don't do that. I do. Why? I, because I feel like... Wait, so, there's, a wedding, there's a wedding fee. Let's look at it like this. Let's look at it like this. Sandra and... She want to get... Uh, Sandra and David, I get married, yeah? And they book me for their wedding. Their cost is going to be the same cost for the, my day. Whatever it costs for that day. So if they wanted me for their christening or they wanted me for their birthday party for the same amount of hours... They're going to get the same cost. I don't say, oh, you're getting married. Oh, let me chuck on you on Japan. I don't do that. I don't do it. That's just not because my people book me. Now, I'm not saying if when I used to be a part of an agency, when the agency people book me and it was for them type of people. Yeah, man. Wedding. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Wedding. Boom, boom, boom. But if one of my supporters and my ravers said, I want you to be playing at my wedding, I don't overcharge them. I've got a wedding. I don't overcharge. I've just got a wedding fee. Yeah. Is your wedding fee... More expensive than your normal fee. Yeah, but <laughs> you overcharge for the How? wedding. Why? What's the difference? Because it's not it's not comedy settings, and it's a whole okay, but what a about whole if it was different a birthday party? thing. Even worse, you got, I want two bills extra. <laughs> nah, man. Listen, if you, I I charge for my time, innit? And my time doesn't. So you don't rate your time. Of course, I rate my time. Obviously, clearly, you don't. No, I don't overcharge. Don't get me wrong, my time ain't cheap, but it I don't is. overcharge. And I'll tell you, sounds what, like you get it for no, fifty for the whole night. You must be crazy. <laughs> every journey, <genre. laughs> every journey, man's there for nine hours for fifty pound. Are you crazy? Never. But my point is this: yeah, I don't like to overcharge people because these are my supporters. You, you get what I'm saying? I don't do it. And honestly, you book me for your uh, uh, birthday party, it's gonna be the same price. For the, it's all about the hours. The things that affect the prices, what equipment I need to bring. 
and where it is. So if I need to stay over, say if I'm doing a show and they want they want me to play way out of London and I got to stay, they pay my travel, pay for the for the night. On top of the fee, do you get what I'm saying? But the fee is the fee, <coughs> and I don't overdo it. To so my yeah. defense, every time I do weddings of area, mm. you've seen it. We always have to end up being the wedding organizer on top of being the host, mm. just so my job is easier. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? You've done. You've done. You've, the I've, I've got to do. Doing, I've got to do more than host. Yeah, so I've got. Yeah. I know that when I go there, I'm going to do but more that won't than be host. For everybody's wedding. That'll only be. For, that's only been for a few. But the wedding. It's been the I've, majority of the weddings. The weddings I've seen you do. Yes, you've done a fantastic job. Yeah, a great master of ceremonies. However. I don't feel like it's fair. Like, listen, the people then when they get married, yeah, the florist they gotta pay more. There you go. The the venue they pay more. Mm-hmm. The the f- caterer, the uh-huh. this, the that. So I I'm not gonna be. I'm not joining that when sting you party. I'm not joining the sting party. I'm not on it. But well, that's you. That's integrity. who you. You idiot. That's nothing to do with integrity. That's foolish, every integrity. Team. That's foolish, every. <laughs> that's my integrity. That's foolish, every. You Fool, fucking foolish, every. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, that's integrity, man. I don't overdo it, man, for no one. That's just not my style. So you know, you know so what you're saying, so basically, you're saying I ain't got no integrity in, 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 no labor, integrity, in layman's terms. You, you know what? Listen, yeah. Let me tell you one time, yeah. So one time, somebody tried to book me for their wedding, and I gave them the price. And I was like, I'll take it. Obviously, because you're cheapo. And he was like, I was expecting a lot more. And I explained to him my theory, innit? And he still gave me the money that he was expecting. So he, he, he paid me a lot more than... But that he, is bullshit. I, I swear on my life, as a tip... I swear on my life, bro. He gave me, so let's say. That's I'm what I'm saying. So when you book, that's why you. you no, it's integrity, <coughs> bro. What he did was. integrity. He respected if, it. If someone's got a wedding, they're looking to pay. And you want Big Dizzle to come to a wedding? Whole, you're, yeah, but you're, you're not too big. You're just a normal man, bro. A man is just a man. A man is just a man, <laughs> lad. A man is just a man. I was watching um something about Charles. You know Charleston White, yeah? Yeah. I was watching something that he was saying, and he was kind of de- trying to debunk um Kevin Samuels. Um, mm. You know the high value man saying that there's no such thing as a high value man. Yeah. Like strip him naked and shove him outside. No money, no nothing. None of his creature comforts. He's just a man, isn't it? Yeah. Like where does the high value come in? How do you? How does that make you more of a man? So when you say stuff like big big dizzle, if you're back against the wall, you're just a man, isn't it? I'm not. You're just a man, bro. I'm not. I'll turn into a viper. <laughs> Man is just a man. You get what I'm saying. Man? After all that big speech, that's all you came with. You're embarrassing. <laughs> You're embarrassment. Anyway, what go on, my bro? I'm there. What I'm gonna say to you? Um, we were just talking about before the podcast started. Um, you see, dads there yeah, mm. that have like different color babies. <laughs> okay, explain. Explain why we were saying why we were talking because you explain then. This sounds a bit mad. So obviously we're here at the podcast in the Dizzle Lounge, yeah. and I brought my son with me. Yeah. Now he's actually really calm. He's just chilling, just over there on his phone, relaxing. Beautiful. So, yeah, it's amazing. Trust and me. You you commented that he really looks like his mum. Yes. And I was like, yeah, cool. I understand. Now I got four children, and my two sons look just like their mums. So I said to you. Like, I'm not an insecure man, but they look like their mums, innit? Mm. Now, if they were dark skin and look like their mums, then I would be, like, really nervous. Mm. But they've got my colour, which means, you know, because you were saying that my back must be weak. That's why they look like their mums. It is weak. That's, um, not how, that's not how it works. It, no, in your head, that's not how it let works. Let me tell you what they say. Let me tell you what they that's say. What they, that's what Listen, they say, but the fact... Your granny. Your, let me tell you what your granny oh, says, yeah, because they my say... My granny was thoughtful. She used to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> they say this, yeah, listen. Yeah. When the... Picnic really, really favour the father. Yeah. The mum hate the man. Yeah. But that means they that means they that means they didn't hate me. You understand? That means they didn't hate me, which is a good thing. Yeah. Well I was I was doing something right. So Lisa, I know now my if pin- I had a baby with them now, maybe they're <laughs> twins. My pity them print it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, only one of them. Only one of them yeah. dead stamp. Yeah. She yeah, must yeah. Say, hate you. With a passion. She hate you. Yeah, with a passion. But that's yeah. my, my baby. But so we're good go, now. So, so, so my thing is now, I've 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 known guys mm. that have had um babies that don't look like them mm. and the different colour from them. Whether it's if they're dark skin, the baby's light skin. If they're light skin, the baby's dark skin. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But DNA will tell you that it's your pitney. Yeah. But even though DNA is when you go out, you still as a man, you want 
you picked me to be the right colour as you and look like you. That's a perfect baby for a man. But yeah, women don't really yeah. know this. That's a vi- Remember, that, yeah. women yeah, are called... Vigil. Man, because women are right. Even women are called... Because you have some women, the pick don't look like them. Not. They even have their colour. But they know it's come out my hole. That's my... Pick. You understand? That's the reassurance they've got. Oh. Man ain't got nothing like that. We just... You understand what I'm saying? Well, listen to this, yeah. My dad's dark. Well, he's not dark, dark, but he's dark skin. And I'm obviously not. Now, I'm lighter than everyone. Like than my mum, like than everyone. Mm-hmm. So my mum's light, but I'm lighter than her. Yeah, my thing. So when you think like my mum's light, and then my my dad's not. My dad's dark. My mum's light. Yeah. And then they have a baby that's lighter than the mum. Yeah. And remember, you know, when I was young, I used to have blonde. Yeah, I see curly blonde, locks. Blonde curly afro. Yeah. Yeah, my thing. Yeah. Um, I might even put a quick picture up here. And I know because this is way before DNA. My dad must have been a little. I'm telling you. He must. Be, he must think something. You come on, like he must think something. He must think that something. is inevitable. Like right up until I was like, maybe so like went, five. Yeah, that I just looked like I was light, 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 light with blonde hair. And you know that's the craziest thing. You know what kills it? It's the how do you have blonde hair? This is what I'm saying. It's you a come throwback. from. It's a throwback somewhere, no, obviously, but so, no. For, for the podcast purposes, you, 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 your two parents are black. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't piss me off. <laughs> oh, piss Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Yeah, go on. Quote unquote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My belly. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and you come out like this. But you know what, yeah? In saying that. As a dad, as a man, I, it's My proven, dad must, I believe cause him, you, I, I No, must, this is your dad because you got the same no. That, that's no, same it's mo- not even, listen, right now. Listen. But you got the, the, it's your dad. But yeah. my thing, I, he, you know, as a man now. Yeah. He must have been going know, that's through what, that's it. That's why I say, as a man, he must have definitely, in his mind, he must have been thinking, hold on, what is? But me and him, we got the, like, there's so much similarity. Yeah, yeah. Like, we look alike. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And now I'm, now I'm a man. Yeah. Your like, more features are coming out. We just alike. We walk, like, people see, sometimes people have seen me walking and thought, and thought I was my dad. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So, but yeah, so that must be like, it must have been at ease at a certain time, but I swear he must have been like, Side eyeing must have been because I was, I was red. My grand, my granny, uh, his mum used to call me yellow man. That was yeah. y- y- bright, yeah, bright. Well, I'm still bright, but I was with blonde hair. They used to say I was a dundus. You know what I'm saying? Full throwback. Full throwback from what I don't know where, where what particular something because I don't like my my auntie's traced my family tree, so we got some pictures quite far back, and. I don't know where there's the blonde. So the throwback is from something. But yeah, mad. So have you done a DNA test? A DNA? No, I don't yeah. need to do a DNA test. Because you might but, be, I, but I told you what I've done, innit? Because you might have been adopted. No, but I did an ancestry. You remember I told yeah, you? That's what, yeah, that's you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. And my cousin is come up as my cousin, my first cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's my dad's. Oh, yeah, because you have to do the dad, DNA, the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, yeah. my dad's brother's daughter. And we're first cousins. Yeah. So that made me know. Say I'm not a jacket and he, she's not a jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Part of the family now. Yeah, we definitely. But when you done it, I, be honest. When you first doing it, was your heart beating like? No, nah, no, nah, I wasn't. Remember, I was telling you, I was, I wasn't thinking about anything. I wasn't actually thinking about my dad's side. My mum had done the DNA, um, the ancestry. Yeah. So. So you um, know your mum's your mum. Well, she was. She she didn't come up. Do you remember I said it yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She didn't come up, but she had this c- t- t- taken herself off the service. But at the time, I was thinking like, bro, there's something dodgy over. But enough, real take. Did you? Before you do, didn't like because like being the throwback of the family didn't didn't. I fe- did the ancestry about. Four no, years no, ago, no, four no, years forget, ago. no. Forget the ancestry. I'm looking on a real tip. As no, you don't the, know these things. No, but when you're young, don't you don't you think like why am I? Or you don't, that's, you that's don't oblivious think like to it. that because remember you know it's all remember I I, I, I was loved. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? I didn't feel rejected. Yeah, but if you're adopted, no, they're listen, gonna be loved. Listen. No, but if you feel rejected, you might start feeling. Funny. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I was loved. I never ever questioned anything yeah, 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 about yeah. nothing in my life. I was a happy kid. I had a great uh, yeah. existence. So I don't know anything. I wasn't thinking, why do I look different? Why is everything different? Why I don't think nothing. We were just a big, happy family. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and I, I remember I grew with my dad, so I was always with him. So I never, ever thought not and dodgy. Mm. If I didn't grow with him and he never, and you know, he, he said he was going to come pick me up and didn't pick me up, I might start thinking like, well, why is things different? Why he treat me like this? Or he, sh- he treated my siblings different. I might feel like mm. that. But I, don't, I never felt, had any reason to question anything. Mm. So yeah, but yeah. So back to to back to guys. What I was saying. How do you, how do you think guys deal with that? I think we're in a much better time now. DNA is about 
Do you get what I'm saying? Because nip it in the bud from DNA's early. DNA's about, man. It's like, DNA's about. Like, it's, Just nip it in the bud from and early. And I feel like there's enough man who have done secret DNA tests. Enough. Enough secret DNA tests. I reckon DNA there's enough man that know they've got jackets and just pretending as well. There's probably, pe- there's probably people that have a feeling, but there's enough secret DNA tests. Because listen to this, yeah? Say, say you've got a little question in your mind, yeah? You've got a son, and he's like six foot five, <laughs> dark skin, really handsome. You know, say you, there's a problem, yeah? Well, you've got the handsome. Yeah, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, that, that, that was no problem, yeah? That was, that was, that never went over my head. <laughs> never went over my head, yeah. Idiot. But like, <laughs> <They can>. like <laughs> and then you thought, you know what? You know, no, forget, not, not an adult, but you got a son and you just feel, you just feel funny about it. You can do a DNA test, send it off. You How? Do, you, but you remember, do a swab, see, the mum does a swab. I, no, but my thing is, you're going to, how do you say yes, I'm going to a swab, me one test? No, you just, you do it yourself. He's a baby, isn't it? He's a picnic, like you just. You no, just, but you said he's a big man now. No, you, no, no, maybe, I was just ramping, <laughs> I was wanted oh. to just throw shade at you, but no, I'm saying, if you ever had a genuine feeling, you could get a DNA test, innit? Yeah. You could do that, you could pluck some hair you could do all sorts to get the dna to send it off yourself and if it comes back and you are you are his dad you never ever mention nothing to no one you just you just take it you, that just goes to your grave that you've done that the moment you find out there's something wrong you got an argument even if she says why did you do it you don't trust me no bitch this is the reason do you get what i'm saying you got strength now even yeah. though you were backhanded and done it Behind her back, you got strength. Are you crazy? But there's some guys that don't want to do it behind their back, and they don't want to find out. They don't I, yeah, that's like some me. Some I wouldn't want to find out. There's guys that right now are living a, a naive life that yeah. they don't want to know the truth. But you the truth will hurt. Yeah, it's more, some, people, get me. some people are scared of, like, including myself. I wouldn't want to. I, I don't know. I know, like, there's a, an argument to why you'd want to find out, but there's also an argument to why would I want to ruin, hurt myself? Yeah. Do I want to put myself through this stress? Do you get what I'm saying? You know, like, there's a time when we've got to face things, innit? People are going to die that we care about. But the day they die, that's when the stress and the shit hits the fan. Do you get what I'm saying? So, the longer we can put that off, the better. Don't need to just embrace it just because it's gonna, it's inevitable. So, if you think that there's a problem, or you don't think there's a problem, in fact, don't start tempting it. It's just mad. And I always say it to stuff like, when girls go through their man's phone and they're happy... I think you're stupid. Mm. You're happy. What are you searching for? Why are you looking for... Dr- why are you looking... Why? Why? Do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? If your boss started looking at your job, like scrutinizing your job randomly, you'd be like, yo, yo, yo. Like, no, like, yeah. just so what? So you can get fired on a random Wednesday just for nothing. I don't mm. want that. Nobody wants that. So don't go through your man's phone to get... to break up and don't just do DNA tests. And going back... Um, Back to what we're saying, with the, um, I wanted to say as well, you know they have a stigma, they say mixed race people, they're crazy and very rare. Do you think it's because... Do they really say that? You know, yeah, they really say that's I, what I say. I something, something like, I didn't know it was crazy, but go on. But you know, like, mm. slightly tapped or whatever. Do you think it's because no one's really looked how deep it is, like, remember you got a black family here, then you got a white family here, then you got you in the middle, then you, you you're, 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 you're half white, but then you're getting racism as well on top of it, and... You understand, and the people that have been racist that you've got a white family, you know what I mean? So that could fucking mess but with you but mentally. Just socially, though, isn't it? Because there's shit that goes on in our community that fuck up our kids anyway. Mm. Just but I'm thinking, don't you think mixed race people? No, but no, some mixed people, there's some mixed with people that are totally grounded because they they have their families are in tuned. They don't ha- they don't experience racism from either side. No, but I'm saying that I'm not saying they expect racism, but I'm saying from out of road. Yeah. The society, what they got to put up with, and knowing they've got a white family well, as well. Do you know honest, what I mean? To be honest, they not say, racism they, from they, their they, own well, family. Yeah, to, to be honest, they saying that soon the whole like mixed race is going to be the, um, the the prominent race, like in a few years' time. What do you mean? That there's going to be more mixed race people than black people and white people. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know when. I don't know when it's been predicted, but they've been predict. That's predicted that there's going to be more biracial people. Like when you go country, <laughs> no, but like it's all over the world. But no, but you know, we, country we when you go travel. like we go not in them Birmingham, them place there. Liverpool. Liv- oh God, this mixed race. Yeah, but you got to remember, you know, this is where you remember the ship landed in the dock in Liverpool. You know, you see when the ship landed, that that see the next five breed, years, four years from up. then. So basically, they run through and breed up the whole city. So so the so the, the immigrants who came. Be the be a white girl, and that that now that generation. You, you, and you, you got to remember, you know, these people have never seen white women, <laughs> and these white women never seen black man. 
They never seen nothing like this. They say, oh, well, what is this? <coughs> then, let's just say, one white woman, yeah, at them time there, would sleep with Leroy, yeah? Yeah. And she'd tell everyone yeah. about Leroy. Yeah. She's not used to that. Dave don't do that. Dave didn't deal with her like how Leroy deal with her. Yeah. So she could tell everybody about Leroy. Her friend got slam Leroy. Her cousin got slam Leroy because they want... You know what I'm saying? These things were happening. And then black man is telling their brethren what these white women are doing that are different. Mm. Yeah, man, it's new. It's new. I got a cousin that was, he living in Jamaica years ago and he was saying, oh, see, it's Milan. One, two white girl. <laughs> that's, what he said. that's what he was saying. He was in Milan. Me want two white girl. That's Milan. It's like, a, it's like a fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he's heard stories. That's Milan. Me want two white girl. Wow, that's crazy. Same. So, what was your fascination with white women? Why, what made you get into them? <laughs> <You're together. laughs> well, no, I'm saying what what made you get into them? Who said I'm into white women? Bruv. Bruv. I'm into every woman. Yeah, but there was a women time. Women is women. There was a time when you was like a little white girl crazy. Like, no, because they look good. They just, they they something say, what was it? The, 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 the bodies. Is it? Had black girls' bodies. Oh, so you, so you like the modern day white girl? Yeah, the, not the old school. No, the, Do you remember? I remember no being. Way. I remember being I like a the youngster, new school yeah. white girls, the je- the gens, <laughs> whoever they are. Gen Z. Yeah, the tick. I remember seeing um someone say, "Oh, cool! Look at the ass on that." Well, and, like tick. looking and thinking, nothing there. Nothing. Like yeah, no, what? I know. Because do you remember when they Look, used to like? Fat that's what I'm thinking. Like, what the fuck's ass. going on in in this world? Because when I was going to school, white girls they were like white girls, mm. standard, no breast, flat batty, is what it is. Now, they've yeah. got shape, blood. Because it's... It's, it's be- amazing. It's because it's been desirable now. Be- before, remember they used to try and shame the black woman's shape, you know? They used yeah. to try and shame it. It's true, they've got the lips now, they've they got the shame, high they cheekbones, they used to got shame the batty. The, they used to shame the lips. They used to shame the lips. I know, but why is... And R- rubber lips. You remember them name there? Yeah. Rubber lips. Used yeah. to shame. We used to even shame our own people. Yeah. Lip shaming. Yeah, if if, if, we, if there's a black person with big lips, we call them lips or lippy. Or we yeah, have yeah, a nickname yeah, yeah, for yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rubber, as you said, rubber, rubber lips, lips was was rubber the, lips was a thing. It was a, at the top of the lips. Yeah, yeah. This. <laughs> and then you got remember you know. And then what's rubber lips though? Wink, 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 <laughs> why, why rubber lips though? Yeah, I like, think it might have been a, yeah, like a, no. It wasn't for rubber. I, I don't, don't know. It must be. I don't know. And what about they got the you know like when g- girls had big bums, they used to get cussed. Trust me, I remember there was one girl in in secondary school. And that, and it's like say her name's Lisa. Mm. Big, Lisa. Big, big, big like Lisa. That's yeah, the only yeah, that's yeah. her name, Big Batty Lisa. Yeah. And just only one girl had that name because there's only one girl in the yeah. whole school with Big Batty. Yeah. So that's her name, Big Batty Lisa. But now everybody wants the Big Batty. Now everybody's Big Batty Lisa. Do you remember? Because there was a listen. There was a time when, obviously, black men are a bit different, but like when breasts were like everything, and like the the Big Batty girl them were mm. like, <laughs> sorry, I was catching him. Loose. <laughs> <laughs> Catching him. But yeah. Um yeah, and and girls with small breasts and big bums were like nobody like Yeah. They were like people just look over Aliens. There yeah. was aliens. But yeah. Yeah. I, that's, that's, I prefer that to be honest. No, now that's what I'm saying, that's all day. Yeah. Remember, it's crazy because even white guys mm. want big batty girl. Yeah, but this is remember it's it's what they it's what they push, isn't it? Like you see the whole Kardashian thing, they've yammed the style and then made it trendy to their people and now it's become a thing lips you soon see white girls getting nose operations to get spread nose <laughs> <laughs> you soon see the nose thing come in no honestly because the lip thing because you remember you know the lips they're doing the lips crazy they got baboon batty lips you'll soon see big spread nose white girl you're gonna think what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> looking like the Jackson Five, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. People like girls like looking at my nose, saying, "Oh shit, yeah, yeah." That's the thing. <laughs> Spread <laughs> nose. nose, yeah. You say, yeah. <laughs> girls go in Turkey to get the nose done. You know the girls that have got the thin nose jobs. They want them redone. Yeah, give me some extra nostrils. Yeah, <laughs> I want the burner boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want it. They want the nose. They, that's the, that's the thing. There's, think about it. What more? Where, where else can they go? It's true because they, they've killed the lash. Have you seen how, how long the lashes are now? Lashes are mad. No, I've seen one girl. She, if I was on a dinner date, her lashes would be right touching me right <laughs> now from no, where lashes, you are. The lashes are mad. And the, and there's lashes now. It's like it's fucking like not just normal. It's like fur. There's like you know like a fur yeah, coat yeah, lashes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen them. And there's proper like there's it's mad like feathers. Feathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's mad. It's mad. I don't know who they do that for. Because I don't. It's not for man. It's not. But you know what's mad? Yeah, think about this. Yeah, this is this is this is why I think the whole thing's tapped. Yeah, we got white women, tanning, big lips, big hips, BBLs. Mm-hmm. And then we got black girls, um, not all of them obviously bleaching, mm. long blonde hair, long eyelashes. Getting nose up like it's like they're trying to do a swap over. Yeah. But I don't get it. Like one one's one set wants to look more European and one wants to look more African. It's weird it's, to me. And you know, even though we're saying the spread nose thing is 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 it started already, but not with the spread nose. The black girl them are doing their nose like like how Michael Jackson died. You know, like up uh, that's the new thing. Mm. You're seeing black people now trying to we yeah, figure eyes their nose. nose yeah you got you, like the white people that yeah. and then the white people are gonna switch on them now yeah, yeah. and get the nose. spread nose yeah that's what's happened it's, it's like it's a com- cosmetic surgery war going on yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 all right we're gonna look like you lot and you lot wanna look like us yeah, it's, mad. it's crazy because no, because the girls are not getting high cheekbones yeah it's mad why would you what the heck? it's mad Sur- the surgery level here is crazy the maddest thing is i was thinking about it i, I was i said to myself you know what it's, if comedy don't work i'm just gonna um Go on YouTube and learn how to do surgery. Oh, on YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> it's a money can mix so I'll beat, that, beat everybody's prices. Three bills. I get you breast lift. You got Dr. Miami. Where are you going to be? Dr. Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Totty. <laughs> Three bills, breast. Girl walking with one big yeah, bum yeah. cheek. Where you come from? Yeah. That's some Dr. cement, cement breast. And yeah. batty, and batty tough. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah it's mad because some, some, it's getting a bit silly. It's getting a bit silly. The cosmetics. It's surgery. not a bit. It's it's we're there now. You get me? We're there now. We have got twenty minutes. You know, it's, it was good. It was good. I'm thinking it's, it's been good for the twenty minutes. It's all right. It's all right. It's gonna it's gonna circle. Gonna circle. It's all right. Yeah, no, you don't don't, right. don't make eye contact. So we say you we saying um, you ready for the war? Yeah. Are you ready for? I don't remember. I'm old now. Yeah, so, so you keep saying I'm old, bro. Yeah, no, you're already you're, you're, what, what, you're about what, the age. What's the, what's the cut off age? age? The, I'm 41, bro. That's yeah, why the cut off is like 45. Fuck. Yeah, so yeah, good. So thank you for. But to be <coughs> honest, to be honest, do you think they can't bring back national service just like you're, that? You're just fretting at your ass. Of course, I'm fretting. It's gonna happen. You think? You want to down? No, bro. Listen, they're not gonna. They can't bring national service just like that. But what I'm saying is, yeah, listen. Let's you're be, hoping that they can't. They, they can't. can, brother. We we will lose. <laughs> We would lose. I think they care. The average Brit cannot fight the average Ru- Russian. They don't even need weapons. Yeah. The average Brit yeah. cannot fight the average Russian. Yeah. And I know they got like NATO and it's not just going to be England. It's going to yeah. be America and all these other yeah. countries here. But we can't fight the average Russian. What would happen is the average Russian yeah, would just <laughs> punch up four Brits. But I'll see the, sti- the, the stats here. Yeah? They've got like... They've got millions more than us of people that are in the army. Mm-hmm. They've got hundreds of thousands more ammunition. Bro, it just doesn't make sense. This, looks, this is like a, this is like five year sevens, yeah? Mm. Saying, come, let's fight all of the year 11s. Five of them. Mm. They're going to get fucked up. It don't mm. make no sense. So Rishi, relax yourself. But you're saying that they don't care what you're saying. You have to go and fight We're for your country. Have, prison is going to get... Bro, There's no prison. They're not even saying you're, they're putting you on a plane. No one is going to fight. Bro, you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. You, you have to fight no, for your it's country. Not the same. There's, no, there's, no, there's no pride in Britain. <laughs> there's no... Listen, to, 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 for, you see, for national service here, yeah, mm. there was a time when it was a thing. And, I, you know, there was a time when people... My dad used to put army brochures on my bed to try and... Entice you? No, just to tell me, like, yo, behave yourself or that, you know, that's where you get your discipline or whatever. The army was a, a, but if there's a sense of pride for your country, then fighting for your country wouldn't really be a major decision for a lot of people because it's pride. Do you get what I'm saying? But there's not a lot of pride. The things that have gone on, the way that they've treated us, the way covid situation the iraq war there's so much things the politicians the way things are going the party gate there's mm. there's no confidence and no trust mm-hmm. so ain't nobody trying to fight do you know what i'm saying no one ain't trying to fight what's when we're looking at the atrocities going on around the world so we look how they dealt with so we look at what's happening in israel mm-hmm. and in palestine and there's we're not 
Brits, the, the government ain't doing nothing to help the mm-hmm. Palestinians. But when it's the, and then look what's going on in Congo. They're not, they don't even talk about it on the news to us. <laughs> yeah. When you talk, and you look at what's going on in Guyana with um, the people from Venezuela, I believe, trying to take it. No one ain't saying nothing. Ain't no one trying to do There's no fight. But when it was the people from at Ukraine, mm-hmm. we taking the Ukraine, to bring them over, send them 12 billion. So you can see how they pick and choose wars and make, like the average Brit can see it's playing out all in front of us. They mm-hmm. don't want to go and fight. Why are we going to go and fight? Mm. So we'll be on the battlefield saying, yo, 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 Vladimir, listen, this ain't, it's not that kind of thing. We don't want it. Mm. We'll be walking with white flags. We don't want it. So mm. even if you sent us out there, we're going to be no good to you. No, that's that, no. That's a fair point. My f- the point is, how are you gonna phone? I'm gonna phone you. I don't even know who you are, but I got your number, yeah. And say, hey, what? Well, you need to get your strap and go and fight eighty five Albanians by yourself. Because that's the ratio. It's like each one man is like fighting. He could kill himself. <laughs> and I don't. You maybe don't know. You've never met me. You don't even know what you're, why you're in beef. It's nothing to do with your pussy, but you now have to go and fight for me, and not even in the in the in the coal. But the fight, wherever the fight is, is too much. <laughs> wherever the fight is, it's too be, much. Could be in South. <laughs> wherever it is, it's too much. And you know, I've heard a lot of people with this rhetoric. Oh, send the road man. All these send. That's the only thing that makes any sense to me, and it's not because. Anything other than you see, let me tell you the only reason I would say send the road man there, man, is if you rep the postcode, you must rep the country. No, but that's what you I was thinking. You rep the postcode, which is this much. You rep, that means you you this land is and yours. And I was gonna say that in the video. I was gonna do a video. I'm thinking the man them right now spare the people them like you, and whoever gets caught with a knife thus far, yeah. <laughs> or mm. sentenced to a violent crime. You automatically qualify. Yeah, because you're you're up there. You're a bad man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're ready for this to go to war. But I'm saying this. My, that should be yeah. the, that should be law. Straight as you get, Nick, you go to. But if you got carried, catch you with know the what's night. gonna happen though, isn't it? What you be on? Imagine, yeah, imagine this. Two of you get, you fly to to Russia, yeah. Two planes fly to Russia, and as the planes drop out, there's. 10 men from this plane, 10 men from this plane, and then the Russians, yeah? But these are your ops. Motherfuckers gonna fight each other before they're they... Not, you know why? Brother, they're gonna fight each other. Do you know they're gonna fight each other? They're shook. They're getting, they're Fear Russian. brings people together. <laughs> Fear <laughs> brings people together. They, you, the way they come together, you would never in your wildest dream think these two are the war. No, 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 no. No they'll way. They'll be hiding together. I'm t- they'll be hiding running from the a Russian. man be dropping. Come. They'll be bringing man. To, yeah. Hiding from the Russians. You're together. fucking mad. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah. It's mad. It's mad. I just, I do believe if you wrap the postcode so much that you're prepared to kill for your postcode, yeah, yeah. then you should be prepared to go to war for your country. Yeah, because that means you're not. I don't wrap no postcode. No, if you're, if you say you're a bad man and you're about that life, yeah. you should be about that life. Because when I'm watching certain. Uh, Mexican things and and even Somali, they're about that. They're, they're from war torn countries, yeah, yeah. and they, um, they're they're firing. They've got they're firing and people are firing back. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. war, not you just li- running down the. Op- that's not war, you know. Yeah. You running th- down the ops and the ops is run. No war is when the the same f- aggression that you're giving yeah. is coming back towards yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You better duck. Like a pop up right pop now. You're you're, not, you're shooting and you're hiding around the corner because you, you, you know, know they got it twisted though, isn't it? Because you know when they run down their ops and they're filming them, they always say. Yeah. Where you running? Where you running? Where you running? Yeah. So I think, like in their head, they don't they they feel like you're not supposed to run from people firing back. So they go they <laughs> they will go out to Russia and not run. You fuck. They'll, they'll and then, run. They'll they'll be off ski. Remember, yeah. remember, remember when you see the video. There's always a man running around with a long thing. Mm. Yeah, but it's in Russia it's different. Mm. These are the snipers. What about the man them that like prepared to fight for the statues? They need to go. No, Tommy Robertson needs to fucking go. No, but him and his, the, 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 statue, you know, the statue man them. The statue no, forget, man them. No. If they're prepared to for kill the EDL, and for their statue. M- remember, any little go. thing, the EDLs, they're out there. They're Tom, Tommy and the man them. They will never go there. I haven't, I haven't heard a peep yeah, but, from Tommy and the man them. But you know, this is all political, <coughs> to be honest. Like, it probably would never get to that rate. 
And, and it you're was, hoping. No, no, no. Listen, you got to, you got to understand. Look, this is the COVID. Let me explain. You would never remember me, before. I, to be honest. I'm gonna make you make land. Five years before COVID, if someone said the the, the whole world would be locked down and everybody would have to be in a year, never believe it. Never opposite. No, but listen, you have to understand this. Why do you think that that was printed in the media? I don't know. Think about it, they, bro. Listen, I know the media, but you can't. They, really they, they, the believe media, the media in the media. It was printed in the media to create mass hysteria. Like people are shook. It, people fall into line. The American election is coming up. Also, remember, England are mixed with NATO, mixed with the USA, mixed with all these things. The American elections coming up. England's too enough. Have you noticed? Who all? is who is Vladimir's bridging? Trump. Trump. Yeah. Trump's running. They they could all be a part of a ploy to get Trump in power. They did it before with the Hillary thing. They say Russia was behind that. They're so like who knows what the thing is. But the likelihood of us reading on the Shade Borough or wherever or the Sun newspaper, oh we, we gotta get ready to go war, get your boots and stuff before anything, before hearing the government say it before anything. Then you get stupid Boris out there. Oh go fool fool Boris. He's like a scaremongering. A lot of it is scaremongering. But it's working. Yeah, because we're sure. Because we can see it actually unfolding in our eyes. Yeah. You're not remember, as you're saying, there's so much fuck is going on mm. that you're not even seeing it on the TV. You get me? Good. Yeah. You, you're not you're not even seeing it on the TV. Yeah. yeah? There's a lot of things are unfolding. Even what is not even in the control of the government. Mm. You catch what I'm dealing with. So now if they're just trying to sc- is right now is a time of show and tell mm. in in everything in mm. in religion and in spirituality. You understand? It's mm. time of reckoning, and I believe so. So I believe that anything could happen at any time. I'm telling you. Remember World War One, World War Two. There was normal people like us. Then all of a sudden they're in the, the tube station hiding because there's bombs. You understand? Yeah, in the bunkers.